welcome to my house, welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and I'm very excited to share this project with you. Now it's turn for our babies, it's turn to make something for them and this is an idea that one of you sent me. Remember that I always going to uh, make everything that is possible to me to teach you what you want and I want you to know that I listen to you and I, that I read all your emails and that I receive all your ideas. So this is one of them. I'm going to show you how you can make this baby hat with ears and how you can make this sleeping bag or a, co a cocoon. How can you call it? Please let me know in the comments how can you how you call this break in your country. I know that um, each country has their, their own names and by country it changed. So please let me know in the comments how can you call it and I hope that you like it. But before we start, I want to invite you to subscribe to this channel. Remember that it's very important to me and I know that many of you watch my videos but haven't subscribed. So please subscribe and well, let's turn news more time. I will give you the material list first and then the step by step. So let's start. Well, I'm making this break for a newborn. I'm going to use 200 grams of this light material in both colors and a crochet hook of number four. I'm going to use this to a skein of yarn for both for the hat and for the sleeping bag. If you want to buy this material, here I shared information. Remember that if you want to buy and use the same materials that I use in all my videos, you can visit my online store www.lauracepeda.es Well, we will start making 5 chains. Once we have our 5 chains, we are going to close in circle, we are going to make a ring. Like this, we are going to slip one. We will go up with 3 chains and we will make the um, 16 double crochets inside the ring. Here we have one, two. Well, at the end of the 16 double crochets, we are going to slip one to close. We will go up with three chains and we will make two double crochets in each stitch, counting the chains. And this one we have already two. And in the next one, two together, two. We are just going to insert our hook taking the, v, the back part of the chain. Okay, making rib stitch like this. Okay, just the back part of the chain, one thread, and here we are going to make two uh, double crochets. So, like this is how we are going to continue the whole row. Well, at the end of the row, we are going to slip one to close, we will go up with three chains, and here in the same stitch, we are going to make one more. Then in the next one, we are going to make one, only one. Remember that we are also taking the below part of the chain, making rib stitch like this. So like this is how we are going to continue the whole row, making one double and one single, taking just the below part of the chain. And like this, the whole row, okay? Alternating the stitches. Well, so far we have one, two, and three rows. We are about to start the fourth. And we are going to make the same. We will start with three chains and so one double. And now we are going to make two singles one and two. Again, one double. So this means that we are going to make two double crochet in the same stitch and then two singles. And this is how we are going to continue the whole row also in rib stitch. And for the fifth row, we are going to make one double and three singles. So once we finish this fourth and fifth row, see you there to teach you what's next. So look, I have one, two, three, four, and five rows. Remember, I started with 16 stitches. Then the first row, all doubles, then one double, one single, then one double, two singles, and then one double, three singles. So, well, remember that here we are making the sleeping bag for a baby and we are making this break for a newborn. So, if you want this sleeping bag for a bigger baby, well, the only thing that you are going to make is that you are going to increase the single. So, in the next row, you are going to make one double 
for singles and like this in the common rows. So well, I'm going to change color. I'm going to combine this pink with this gray. I think it will be a sweet uh, combination, right? So well, we, now we will continue with the stitch. We will go up with two chains. Here we are going to make one double crochet more, then one chain and one single crochet right next to it. Well, we are going to make a half double crochet, you see, at the end. So then we are going to skip two, and in the third, two double crochets together in the same stitch, and then one chain, and next to it, a half double crochet. Then again, skip two, and in the third, two double crochets together, one chain, and a half double crochet. Like this is how we are going to continue the whole row, okay? So, see you at the end of the row. Well, at the end of the row, we are going to slip one to close. Now turn and we are going to change color again. I forgot to tell you that I didn't cut the thread. I'm just going to pull and take the thread right behind it. And also something I almost forget, it's that when we are about to change color and we are going to close row, we must change with the color that we want to use next. So when we start, we are going to start right away with the next color. So as you could see, the next stitch we are going to turn one color with red and then we turn and we are going to make the other row with the other color. So we are going to continue with the same stitch right here where we have these holes, these little holes is where we are going to make the two double crochets together. Before I sleep, I want to start right here where is the hole. So I will go up with three chains and right here I'm going to make a double crochet, one chain. And now we are going to make the half double crochet but in relief. So I'm going to place a hook in the back. Then again, two double crochets together in the hole, one chain and a half double crochet in relief. And again, we will repeat. So basically, this is how we are going to continue making this row. Okay, so see you at the end. Well, here I am at the end of the row. Also, it's important that we must take the threads in the wrong side. Okay, this is the right side and this is the wrong side. So we are going to place the threads in this uh, in the wrong side. Okay, so now you know that we are about to start the next row so we are going to change color and now we are going to slip one to close well now that we are here we are going to turn our project remember and now we are going to repeat first i'm going to slip one to start right here and then well you know three chains uh, here we are going to make a double crochet one chain half double crochet also in relief so well, we are going to continue uh, making several rows. Remember that we are going to change color and we are always going to keep the threads in the same side, okay? In the wrong side. So far it's looking so good. Remember also that every time that we change color, we are going to turn our project, but keeping the threads always in the same side, in this side, okay? So that's very important. Okay, let's continue repeating this sequence until we get the long of the slipping back that we want. Well, look at here. I already finished and I already have the rows that I want. I'm going to count the rows in right. So I have 10 rows and I think that these rows are perfect for a newborn. If you want, you can make more, okay? I already got the great color. So now, for now on, I'm going, just going to continue with the pink. So now we are going to reduce a little bit to create this cocoon shape that we want. So this is how we are going to reduce. We are going to make two double crochets here and then we are going to make the half double crochet, skipping the two double crochets and then right next to it a half double crochet. So as you could see here we skip one and we reduce. And then we will continue with the stitch. We will make five and then in the sixth, again, we are going to reduce. We are going to skip one double crochet and we are going to repeat what we have just made. 
And this is how we are going to continue the whole row, okay? Only in this row we are going to reduce. Well, for now I want to arrive again when we have to uh, reduce so you can see it again how it is, how it is okay? So if you want, you can continue with a great color or you can choose one more and make your own combinations, okay? Remember that this is up to you, this is just an idea and I love that you put your creativity to work. I love to see that you add different things because I also, I learned from you. In Mexico, there is a tradition that when there is a newborn, you should crochet something for them in yellow because it's of good luck. I don't know it's true <laughs> but well here we have we have five so here we are going to reduce again so here we are going to make the two double crochets together and then one chain and until here is where we are going to make the half double crochet as you could see we skip one well this is how we are going to continue for the rest of the row remember that we are only going to reduce in the first row and then I won't okay so see you when we have more rows so look at here I continue only with the pink color and I only reduce in the first row and I made like four or five centimeters more of rows okay I feel that now I have to reduce again and then I think that with this reduction we are going to finish right it's looking great and we are going to repeat the same technique we made five complete and then we are going to skip one in the sixth and also remember that each row we turn okay so that's also important and that's something that you must take that into account i'm going to stop a little bit because i want you to see the stitch and the colors i think it looks so good i love it i'm really enjoying making this for all of you so i hope that you are enjoying it too so we are going to start with three chains, then a double crochet, a half double crochet in relief, and I'm going to repeat. Remember that each five uh, double crochets we are going to reduce. So in this case, when I'm about to start the row, I'm going to reduce right away, and then I'm going to make five more, and then again in the sixth, I'm going to reduce. So I mean that we are going to skip one uh, sequence, okay? I love this stitch. Also, a, lo a long time ago I made it. I don't remember exactly for which break I made it, but it looks so beautiful. I love it. I want to arrive also when we have to reduce again so you can see how it is. So let me record a little bit more so you can see exactly where and how. So here we have one, two, three, and four. I think I'm going to skip one right here because if not, like we already reduced before, I think it will look good if we reduce early in the fourth. So this is how we are going to make it, okay? We are going to skip one in the fourth. So again, we are going to reduce only in this row and then we will continue four five or four more rows and then see you there okay so look I'm going to measure the sleeping bag I think that the rows that I made are are enough for the size and for a newborn so from the circle from here to the top we are going to make 25 centimeters so remember again this is for a newborn and if we measure the whole project from the bottom to the top, from the ring to the top, we have 34, 33 centimeters. So, well, it, I'm going to stop here. I think that it's good. We are not going to reduce anymore. Remember that we reduced twice at the beginning, five after five sequence and then after four sequence. So well, once you are happy with the rows that you made and with the long of this sleeping bag, we are going to make these last rows. These are the final stitches. So we are going to make double crochets, all in the same stitch. We are going to make three and then a picot stitch like this. And then two double crochet in the same stitch like this. Okay, then 
right here single crochet so we are going to repeat this sequence uh, and the whole row okay if you want you can skip this part and make a different stitch it's uh, your own choice but I think that it gives a good final touch so it will look so much better with this um, beautiful edge you will see so we are continue making shells remember with picot stitch in the top and with this we finished so look at this I already finished this sleeping bag it looks so beautiful at the end you can put a ribbon or you can put some bottoms to decorate or make some flowers it's up to you and uh, well this is the first video in the coming video I will teach you how you can make a beanie with earrings okay also for a newborn and completing this uh, set well so remember if you want to find out how we are going to finish this set please stay tuned and in the coming video I will teach you how we are going to make this beanie with ears also for a newborn and I will give you a step by step we are going to use the same stitch and the same yarn to complete and completely match outfit for this newborn that we are uh, waiting for okay please uh, don't forget to decorate your sleeping bag and put some flowers or a ribbon like me remember that it's very important that you subscribe you just have to click the button to subscribe and you are now in my family okay but well thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to leave your comments also in the description box down below and soon i will share the beanie with ears okay so please stay tuned and leave me all your comments give me a like and share this video if you like it thank you so much and see you in the next video have a nice day